<laughs> Yo, right, what is going on guys and welcome back to another new video. So today's video is going to be about packaging coins safely and securely. Um, before we get into this video, make sure you do smash the like button, subscribe, turn on my post notifications and comment some video suggestions you want me to do. So giveaway was on my uh, second previous video. If you guys want to check that out, I'm giving away about £20 worth of coins, Commonwealth and all that. So make sure you guys go enter. And it's it should be one comment per person, but you know, it's it will only filter out one comment, so it doesn't matter if you comment multiple times. Um so yeah, today's video is safely and securely packaging up coins. So first things first, let me just show you some envelopes. So here is a padded uh jiffy bag and let me just grab, I think I might have one down here. No, I don't wanna, let me just grab one. Um. Right, here I have just a normal envelope. So, let's do what some people do. So let me just take out a Q Gardens 50p for instance, and I'll just demonstrate on this. So let me get some other stuff out. Um, okay, I'll get one of these out as well. As you can see, it's one of the little adhesive flip uh, holders. So I'll get this cute guy out. Good condition it is, so I don't really want to ruin it. Right, okay, so what most people tend to do, I've experienced this a lot on the Facebook coin group. So they get the coin and then they just shove it in here. Leave it like that, seal it up, and write on it. As you can see, you can sort of see the outline of the coin. And obviously when it's going through the machines and everything, it's just bouncing about. And then if you do it hard enough, it might split. As you can see already, it's already splitting. Um, that's what most people tend to do. And then if it keeps bouncing around like that, it's just gonna go straight through. Look, as you can see, it's already teared. And then that's the postman's coin now. Um, so that's one thing you don't want to do. Also, I wouldn't advise just chucking it in the jiffy like this, mainly because obviously you can still feel, but you can, you know, feel it at the bottom there. It's just not another good idea. So what I tend to do is I put it in this. Let me show you. I think these are pretty good for packaging up coins. I'll just put it anyway around quickly. So... As you can see, you, you know, you're not really gonna think it's a coin. You can also wrap it in this blue paper roll. Uh, that's what I do like sending some of my coins in. I wrap it in this, then I wrap it in the blue paper roll, then I put it in a get, uh, jiffy bag. Also, what some other people do is, you get some cardboard, and then you put the coin down on it, and then you will get some, like, a knife or some scissors, yeah? And then you'll just cut around the coin, like, make like, and then cut it out, make like a little ditch for it to sit in perfectly. You Maybe you'll wrap it in some cling film, toy, uh, paper roll, anything like that. Put it in the slot, sell it, tape it down, and then you, you won't feel it at all. That is a really, really good technique. Mainly because, obviously, you can't feel anything. Postman can't feel it. Um, what was the other idea? Uh, right, so when what I used to do is, I used to put it down on cardboard, and I used to tape the coin to it. But that's not such a good idea when you get all the adhesive stuff over it. So what I suggest doing is, you either wrap it in the blue roll, cling film, anything like that, then tape it to a bit of cardboard, paper, whatever. So, I don't know. I, I don't suggest using just normal envelopes like this. I do recommend buying some jiffy pads. You can get a hundred of these for like six pound. It just depends if you sell a lot, or you could buy like a four pack from Poundland for a pound, the bigger version of these. So I don't know, I would, it depends if you sell much. If you if you sell quite a lot on eBay, I would suggest buying the hundreds in bulk and everything. And then maybe if you sell a couple, just buying the odd ones from Poundland. But you can get them cheap. They're not overly too expensive, but I do recommend these. I do Every time I send coins out, I just put them in these now because I don't know, I just think they're nice presented in this. 
Uh, the coin looks nice in this. As you can see, it's really good condition, this one. Same as this cute garden's here. Um, so yeah, I recommend getting these. What I normally do, like I said, put it in this, wrap this round it, and then put it in the jiffy bag. And I've had no problems with that so far. It works well. It's nice. Nicely presented. So yeah, um, that is overly it for this video. So if you guys have anything else you want me to cover, let me know. More video ideas, the better. More videos I can make. Bank run tomorrow, which is £750. So upload for that tomorrow. And yeah, giveaway. Make sure you turn on the post notifications. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace. Stop feeling down like one up has it run Keep your chin up and head high Cause nothing's forever Life